Good morning, everyone. Bright and uh. early. <laughs> He's still waking up. <laughs> we are here at Universal Studios, and obviously in the parking garage, we're still walking in. And we got to park in King Kong today. Hooray. But. <laughs> yes, remember 407. I will see you guys once we get past security. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Hopefully we'll see both parks, but we'll see as we go along with the day. I feel like I'm in the Jetsons. Moving walkways. One of the few places that has moving walkways regularly. But it is Mardi Gras season. We're not gonna be staying for 311. But we're gonna have some fun today. Welcome to City Walk. Nice place here. And yes, it is a cold morning, but in the sun, it feels good. So we've got bubblegum, we've got movie theaters, we've got tons of stuff here in City Walk, or we're just gonna keep walking past. We gotta decide, Universal or IOA? <laughs> Let's see how the crowds are going. Decision was Islands of Adventure. Let's have some fun as the adventure begins. <laughs> I mean, that is fitting because there is a Christmas store here year round. And those are the team members that I love to see. They're always excited for everyone coming in for a great day that's going to be starting now. Okay. <laughs> The Incredible Hulk. So, the lines do not look that bad so far this morning, even though it is 9.20. There's about 15 minutes for Skull Island. And there's Jurassic Park and Harry Potter. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do first. But we'll be right back. All right, so we made our first choice to go on the Incredible Hulk. You guys saw some footage from outside of it. Yes, he survived. Uh, but with Incredible Hulk, you have to put all your stuff away into a locker because they don't allow anything on there. The only thing that you're allowed to have on there is if you have glasses already stuck on your forehead and if you have a ticket in order to get your locker open. That's all that's allowed. So we're never gonna be able to get a pass there. But, a lot of fun. I recommend going on it, especially early in the morning because it's not so rough in the morning. And the cold breeze today felt really good to me. Not so good to my dad. But, we will be right back. So I personally recommend getting one of these cups from Universal because it is a really good deal if you purchase that first. If you buy one, it's like $14.99 and you can refill it all day long. You can always also recharge the refill whenever you come back another day. It's like $5.99 or $6.99 and with the annual pass discount, it's great. So while we're over here near the cafe, not Cafe 4, but Captain America Diner, you can see some of the construction that Universal is doing here at Islands of Adventure. You see all the cranes, they're reconstructing the area that was Dueling Dragons, also known as Dragon Challenge, into a, I believe it's supposed to be Forbidden Forest attraction, but hopefully it'll be just as good as, <laughs> I always love watching this one. Hopefully it'll be as good as Dueling Dragons. And you can see all the different lands here. Islands of Adventure is literally what it means. Different islands for different themings. So right now we're on Marvel Superhero Island, as you can see. And then we had the port of entry that we had came through. We got Seuss Landing. 
we have The Lost Continent, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Hogsmeade, and Hogwarts. We also got Jurassic Park. And then over here we've got Toon Lagoon with Popeye and Bluto's Village, Rat Barge, whatever the actual name is. I did say it right. Hooray! A whole bunch of different comics. And I love these quotes. Eh, I still have so much fun. What side do you think is my best side? Inside, right? Papa and Bluto! It's closed! Yeah? One of the best river raft rides. Push it on. I wish tires were still two dollars. So we have to pass through Toon Lagoon, which only has two water rides. It's kind of sad to have that water rides, but passing through because there's a short wait for King Kong Skull Island. I still love the picture of your uncle and Chris and I asleep in the back seat of the Jurassic Park River. Tear it on flyers if one comes up. There is one. Such a little kid ride. I don't have any memory of riding this at all. Even though I did. from the pterodons to the biggest ape of them all, King Kong, Skull Island, the reign of Kong. Fifteen minute wait, we shall wait. The theming here is just amazing, we did really well. This attraction has a character, and that's the first time I've actually seen him in person. So, I actually jumped a little bit, to be honest. Even though I've worked for Hollow Screen for a couple years, I did jump. Uh, we're gonna get on the ride, and I'll see you guys on the other side. A chilly morning's become a beautiful day so far, 10.30. We have ridden two attractions, Kong and Hulk. We're on our way. To Harry Potter because it's the shortest wait and he wants to ride it again. Sure. <laughs> uh, now, Skull Island Rail Kong, if you guys haven't been on it yet, I love the attraction, love the idea, just not enough practical effects. And my dad agrees with me. Uh, it would be a lot better if there was more physical sets than just screens. Hopefully, it's going to be a little bit different with uh, Fast and Furious Supercharge. When that comes out in a couple months but we'll have to see rumors have it that it is an exact clone of this but nothing we can tell until we actually see it and i believe i will see you guys once we get over to harry potter so throughout the parks they have the coke freestyle machines that connect up with your cup through rfid 
and there's no Coke on this one. Let's try this one. Hooray, there's Coke. Just as easy as using a regular Coke Freestyle machine. And I have unlimited refills for the next 15 hours. Hooray! It's a hot day out. You should check out the Discovery Center here in Jurassic Park. It's a nice place. We'll go there sometime. Yeah. But next to the D Discovery Center, Hogwarts Castle. There's a nighttime show. We may see it tonight. We'll see. And look, it's an hourly. I said that wrong. <laughs> but there's also the famous Floridian cranes behind it. And there's another look at Hogwarts. But welcome to Hogsmeade. Beautiful little place. But I believe we're gonna head left to see Hogwarts. And we'll be back to Hogsmeade as soon as we ride. We represent the Hogwarts School Choir and we're here to share some music with you because music is, as Professor Dumbledore has said, a magic beyond all we do here. So let's start with a song that reminds us all of the fireworks seen illuminating the darkened skies above the legendary Quidditch World Cup.
10 minute wait. I'll take that. Time to enter. Hogwarts Castle. Let's try and find a Quidditch match. See you while you use the rest of Bit creepy, but yeah. And throughout Hogsmeade and also Diagon Alley at Universal Studios, there's different places where you can actually interact with wands that you purchase. Now, I don't have a wand yet. I may get one, I don't know yet. But throughout the different lands, we have different magic. And then, for those of you that know the hog's head, hog's head. And then we got the three broomsticks. And there used to be Dragon Challenge. And now it just closed. It's a beautiful place just to sit, relax, and enjoy the environment. Something you must always do at least once if you have a multi access pass, if you can access here and Universal Studios, two days, two parks. This is Hogsmeade train station can get you over to King's Cross. And yes, that is the train station. It's amazing how far back it is. The Lost Continent. A despair of a land. But there's something that I still haven't done. And that is the 8th Voyage of Sinbad. We'll go there sometime. Mythos. One of the best restaurants from what I've heard of. At least in the theme park. Sometime we'll try there. Once my appetite opens up. What's that? Care for a swim? So gorgeous theme here in the Lost Continent. Poseidon's Fury is a great attraction. It just... It was better before they changed it back in 2001. So for those of you that have gone to Universal or been to Islands of Adventure before 2001 and saw Poseidon's Fury, you'll know what I'm talking about, the difference between that original attraction and what it is currently. You could probably find another YouTube video that has a recording of it. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to put a link in the description because I haven't found one yet. But we'll go see it sometime soon. You are welcomed into Seuss Landing. Thing one and thing two. Thing one and thing two. I love the characters here. They're just so much fun, especially the Lorax. He's a lot of fun. But here's a random fact. There's not a single straight line here in Seuss Landing. Just like in his books, not a single straight line. Cheers. Cheers. One fish, 
cute fish up, up, up. Red fish, blue fish, down, down, down. We're not gonna ride it, but it is a fun little attraction. Across from the Karasusel. Yes, it is a play on words. And then the good old cat in the hat. All right, everyone. So we're gonna be pretty much done here at Islands of Adventure. We're gonna look to get something to eat probably in City Walk. And then we're gonna head over to Universal Studios. But I'm just gonna cut the video short right here. And you guys are just gonna have to join in to our next video in order to see Universal Studios. So quick couple of reminders before you guys go. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. You also help us on Patreon. You can join there and get some back info on us. And also subscribe here on YouTube because if you guys subscribe and hit the bell notification, you'll know when our videos will be coming out. Also, if you guys like this in video, hit the thumbs up, put a comment down below if you want any suggestions for future videos or any tips that you guys may have. Make sure you put it down below because this channel's for you guys in order to move forward and have a great adventure on any trip. So from Richmond Guys of the Galaxy, I hope to see you guys in the next adventure. <laughs>